Hey, it's Brandon Styles. Today we're going over five tips to improve your website's UI design. This will happen to me a lot where I'm designing a page and for some reason I just can't make it look right. Like it looks fine, I guess, but I just can't make it pop for some reason. So there are a couple tips that I've gathered over time to where if your page is looking good, but maybe just not at 100% and you want to give it a little more oomph, here are five things you can do to make it feel more designed. As a reference today and to show you kind of why we're using these tips, I'm going to compare this to Apple's current MacBook landing page. So we're gonna scroll through the page, see what they're doing, and see how you can apply some of their tactics to your own web design. So let's get started. Tip number one, try using only one typeface. A lot of times people will try and combine stuff. So they'll use a serif and a sans serif, or they'll use like Roboto in a headline and then open sans in a paragraph. But check out how Apple does it. Apple only uses one typeface and they just change the font weights, they change the font size, but they make it look a lot more cohesive by using just one typeface. And then you don't have to guess, then you don't have to know about how to pair fonts. It's like pairing a fine wine. You just have to get one thing right and you can focus on just the one typeface and mastering that. Once you have mastery over one typeface, might as well have mastery over them all, right? See whether it's a big headline like this or whether it's a paragraph, it's the exact same font everywhere. They're just using different colors and different weights to make these pop out differently. So really interesting use of just one typeface from the Apple site. Even with this one right here, look, it's the same typeface. This one right here might be a little bit thicker font. Like I think if you pulled up an inspector, this would be thicker than this one but really it's using color to differentiate the two of these. So this is all black, and then with kind of the paragraph aspect, even though it's the same font size, they're using color and a slight weight difference to make these pop out. So you know that this is the headline right here, and this is the paragraph. So that's tip number one. Try using just one typeface across your whole design. It'll make things more cohesive and stand out for you. Tip number two, and something that I'm not seeing a lot, and I wish I would see more of, using more than one drop shadow. So CSS now in almost all browsers allows you to use more than one drop shadow. And that makes sense. Because when an object has a shadow in real life, it's usually got two, right? It's got its own drop shadow, where the light is hitting the object and, and creates a really dark, almost like border around it and then it's got a cast shadow. And the cast shadow is where the light diffuses out and kind of has a softer edge to it. So you've really got two shadows at play at all times on an object. You can do that in CSS too, so watch this. So right here I've got pulled in a mock-up of a MacBook. And what we're going to do is I'm going to create the first drop shadow down here. So I like to, just for the simplicity of the tutorial, I'm just going to make an elliptical little box right here about the size of the MacBook. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to call this the actual drop shadow. So this is the shadow that's going to be close to the actual MacBook. I'm going to fill that in with option delete on a Mac and I'm going to bring this up just a little bit. Alright, so you can see there it's kind of giving that cast shadow, right? It looks like it's sitting right on a table or a desk or something like that. Come over and make the opacity a little bit less. Maybe for a drop shadow, maybe 50% opacity. And I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller. Here we go, so it sits out a little bit more. I don't wanna to get too tedious with it, I'm just showing an example here. But you can kinda of see that drop shadow right there. And I might even bring the opacity up. All right, good. Now I'm going to give this a little bit of a Gaussian blur radius to make it look slightly just more normal. So I might just give it like one and a half pixels. And that's pretty close. So you can see if we zoom in, we've got a dark but just slight edge right here under the MacBook. And that's going to be our drop shadow. Now what I want to do is I want to duplicate this drop shadow. So what I want to do is hit Command J. That makes a copy of it. And let's bring it down here. So it's the same... Uh, the exact same shadow that we just created. So what I want to do is I want to make this just a little bit bigger and maybe just a little bit taller. I want to lower the opacity even more. So maybe to like about 40% or 
or something is usually good for that. And then I want to increase the blur. So right now the blur radius is 1.5. Let's go up to like a, a 10. 9.9, 10, looks good. So as you can see, this one is way more of a cast shadow. Now let's bring it up. And let's bring it in just a little bit. And there you have your cast shadow. So you can see it looks a lot more realistic and you can dial this in to get it to look even better, but you're using two drop shadows. So if you scroll in here, you've got the one drop shadow right here, and then you've got the other one right here that you can kind of play with. It's just a lot more realistic look when you're working with shadows. So that's UI tip number two, use two drop shadows on your elements. And you can do this in CSS as well. A third tip for improving your website's UI is using background gradients or background colors over words on an image to make those words stand out. Let's say there is a big hero section right here on top and you've got words over an image, right? This is a design that you see a lot. The problem is you can barely see these words. They kind of blend in with all the white in this background, so what can you do? Anytime you have this problem, just add a background overlay with a lower opacity behind the words and they're gonna pop out. So watch how I do this in Divi. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click into this uh, text module right here and I'm going to add a background gradient. So I'm going to click here, I'm going to add the gradient and already you can see it pops out like that. So anytime you're having trouble reading text over an image, keep the image, it's fine, it's great. It improves engagement, it improves conversion rates, but just add a little color behind it and you'll be able to see the words perfectly. Website UI design choice number four is lighten your paragraph text. A lot of times when people are trying to differentiate their headlines versus their paragraph text, they think, oh, I'm just gonna increase the headline size, I'm gonna make the paragraph smaller, and it'll be perfect. You don't have to do that. You can actually increase readability by just making the headline darker and making the paragraph text the same size or just a little bit smaller, but lighter. Apple does that really great right here. The headline, and the paragraph text are virtually the same size, the same font size. This one might be a tick or two smaller on the font weight, but what they're using is just different colors to differentiate their headline right here versus their paragraph right here. You automatically know that this is the main point right here, the paragraph in black. Something else they're doing that kind of goes with this point, they are using an all black right here and they are using black with a lower opacity next to it. And that makes sense. Straight up, just pure black on like the hex code scale, you don't see that a lot in nature. It's not a very natural color, right? How often do you see all black? Usually it's black with some white into it or some blue or some gray or whatever. Use a lighter paragraph to make your headlines stand out more and to make your paragraphs look a little bit more natural, just like Apple does right here. Tip number five to make your website UI look a lot better, use more left aligned text. A lot of people, they think it's, it's cool to just go with centered text everywhere and it ends up looking unnatural because we don't often see centered text in real life. You might see it on a chapter heading on a book, you might see it on a book title. But if we scroll down websites and, and even think about the English language and how you read a book, 90% of words and text are left aligned. Look how Apple does this. You'll see that almost all the text is left aligned, left aligned. Uh, there's a centered one right there, but this is left aligned, left aligned. See, it's not used as much as you think. And so if you use it less, then on the off occasion that you do center align it, it's gonna stand out a lot more and look more designed. So if your UI design is just not looking right, try and take all of your text, left align it, see if it cleans it up a little bit. Tip number five to making your website UI look more designed is to design first in grayscale or black and white. Because if you can make a layout look interesting in black and white, then adding color to it will only accentuate the design. It's not going to make the design. And Apple does a good job of this intentionally. When I'm talking to a client, a lot of times they're like, we want our website to look like Apple's website because that is kind of the you know, mecca of, of technology and modernism. So if you look at their website for this MacBook Pro landing page, a lot of it's in black and white, right? You don't see a lot of color, like black and white right here, 
There's black, white, and gray right here. That's what gives it that modern sleek feel is it's a pretty minimalist look and the color that is allowed to come in comes in through the product. So you notice really the only color on these pages are the actual product. So even the picture of this guy, it's black and white. This is where the color comes in with the product. We scroll down, color with the product, color with the product, another black and white image of this girl, and then the product is colored. So next time you're stuck on a design and it doesn't quite feel right, don't start over, but just take everything black and white and see what you can do from there. Those are five tips to improve your website design UI. I'm Brandon Styles. Please subscribe if that was helpful. And if you're interested in working with me or you wanted to hop on a call, click the link below. It'll take you to my website and we can set up a call together to help you with your website needs. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.